hello guys welcome once again in today's video i am going to show you how can you use a rich text box in c in your c sharp application and uh, how can you show text into your text rich box from a file and we will use that upload file or open file concept right here so first of all uh, let me change the text to open file so that you will be more comfortable with that so now I am going to use a rich text box in this tutorial and in this rich in that rich text box I am going to uh, display a text box uh, sorry a text file whatever the content in my text uh, file exists in that file it will appear in that rich text box okay so how can I do that I am going to show you now so first of all just go to the toolbox and you need to search here for rich text box probably in the R hmm, here it is so rich text box from just select it and drag it out here and when it will be dragged uh, you need to resize it just make it a bit bigger so that text can easily appear here so let's take this open file button right here so I have already written that open file uh, a little bit code in my previous video so if you are not familiar with these four lines of code then I will recommend you to watch my previous video in which I have briefly explained how to open a file in your C sharp application so now uh, we need uh, we just need to change a little bit in this code and uh, we are going to show the text of a file in this rich text box via this button I mean when I will click open file it will open a file dialog for me and when I will select any text file it is going to show me the content of that file in this rich text box okay so let's double click on the open file button and we already have a little bit code here already written so what I need to do first I need to explain a stream variable okay so type stream uh, it is not showing me because I need to add a library I, I need to import some libraries in C sharp so you know in Java for importing a library we usually write uh, you know import and in C sharp to import a library we write using so using system dot text that is uh, one library but this is not it we also need to define uh, another library and that is using system dot I O okay so there are two libraries that I need to define right here so now I can use my stream variable right here in the code so if you don't find the code just go to your design and just double click the button and you will be right there in your code so I have added the, uh, those two libraries so now what I need to do I will just define a variable now you can see that option of stream has arrived here that was not appearing before so now I will select this stream and I will name it as VAR that is a variable and I have initialized a stream variable and the next thing that I need to do is defining another if inside the previously defined if so in this uh, code I don't need this message box anymore so I am just going to delete this I will be needing this file uh, string too so I will just double brackets but 
I will just close bracket here to get this line in this if block okay so now what I need to do I will just use that stream variable inside right here okay so for that purpose I will just put a parenthesis I will open a bracket and use that variable of VAR that stream VAR variable and VAR is equal to and now I am going to use this OFT variable that is open file dialog variable basically so I will just copy paste the name of that variable and now I am going to write here dot open file and parenthesis close so that is the basic thing right here but one more thing that I am going to do here is that I am going to put another uh, bracket just let me check if yes I need another bracket and now I am just going to get it equal to not equal to null yes there you go now you can see that a red line that shows the error has gone so once again I am going to show you that what I have done here I have taken this variable stream variable right here and then I have taken this variable of open file dialog and put it right here and dot open file extension uh, or function you can say that will open that file using that file dialog variable and uh, then it will check if it is not null then this thing will happen but I need to add some lines right here another line right here to be more specific so what is that this is basically that I need to define another string right here that will be like file let's name it file text okay and let's put it equal to uh, file dot read uh, read all text here you can see that uh, in the suggestion you have got because uh, this uh, Visual Studio is an intelligent IDE so it give you it gives you the suggestions so read all text and the next thing that you need to do you need to put the parenthesis and uh, you can see that this string that file path you need to paste that file path right inside the read all text because this uh, file needs a file path it needs a file to read exactly so if there is no file there will be no file it cannot read any file it will simply display you an error because it has to have a file a certain file okay so I am just giving that file path so that it may reach to the exact file that I want to display all right so the next thing that I will use my rich text box and I will go to my design and I will just select my rich text box and I will see its name whatever it is and this is name is rich text box one so I will just copy paste it and I will just paste it right here and the next thing that I am going to write here I will give its extension that is text and then I am just simply going it to put equal to this string variable exactly so what it will do whatever the text is whatever the text in the file is it is going to store in that string and that string is basically I have put equal to the rich text box the rich text box will take everything from this file so now once again let me 
uh, revise this code for you quickly <laughs> so this stream variable that I have defined earlier for you what it will do it will just simply I have used here after inside the if block that I have told you already that open file dialog is basically the dialog that it will open a file for you and it will check if a file is selected or not okay so this if block is usually important that if a file is selected then it will go ahead if the a file is not selected and simply user has crossed that dialog box then nothing will happen okay so this point is clear now so now come to the next points when a user will will select something another if block comes here and this line will check if the selected file has something in it I mean if it is not null then this code will be performed else it will just skip this part and nothing will happen okay so I hope I hope you have got the concept so this variable if were that stream variable basically will take that variable dot open file and it will take that file that I will select and that selected file will it will check if it is not equal to null then if it is not equal to null it is going to do this this code so what this code is basically OFD dot file name all right so what it is going to do that with the help of open dialog variable it is going to copy that file name or file path exact file path and it is going to store that file path in that string okay so the next in the next line what is going to happen this string that I have defined as file text what it is going to do it is going to read that file by its path I mean how that uh, will reach to the file by its path okay so by copying its path it will reach to the file and it will read the file whatever inside is okay so when it will read the file it will store because from this line you can see that the file has definitely something in it that's why the code in this code is running so it is uh, you know obvious that something is already in the file so it has to read it okay so when it will read it it will just simply store all the data that it has read inside this variable file text okay and the next thing and the last thing that it has done it has taken this file text whatever the material was in the file it has taken that variable and it has put it equal to the rich text box that means that it has copied all the uh, stuff that it has read into the rich text box so that's it and now our time has come to run our program I hope you have got the concept because I have you know make it in detail for you okay so now when I will run my program I will just give my credentials and when I will log in it will tell me that login is successful so login successful and there you go and you need to open the file so I don't have any text file right here so I will go to my downloads and I will just uh, search for code beginners folder here so I will search here code beginners so there it is so I will open it and inside here you can see a lot of things are here so let's say I copy this and you can see the whole text in the text file that uh, I use in my YouTube videos for uh, to put the text into my description that has been shown in my uh, rich text box so let's try another one so let's see uh, say I, that is the basically the connection code uh, of Cisha so that is stored in my this text file so now if I select this the whole code should appear inside this rich text box so if I select this you can see 
that the code has appeared in the rich text box so that's it for today and i hope you have learned something new please rate comment subscribe and bye for now